Now, what is isthmus and the major isthmus of the world is something that we would be discussing today. Isthmus, as we have understood in our previous lecture, is simply a connection between two land parcels. So, you have land parcel 1 and land parcel 2 being connected by a land and that is simply what is known as an isthmus. Now, a very interesting study is of Africa. And then you have Europe here and in between the two you have the Mediterranean Sea which is present here and this side you have the Atlantic Ocean. You have the Strait of Gibraltar which connects the Mediterranean Sea with the Atlantic Ocean. Now you might be wondering why we are discussing about the straits when we are talking about isthmus. So the idea here is to understand how isthmus comes into play. So what is happening under the plate tectonics, this African landmass is slowly and gradually moving northward. As it is moving northward, this Gibraltar Strait, which is a narrow water passage, would be slowly and gradually be occupied as a landmass. And this region, the Gibraltar region, which is presently a strait, would be turned out into an isthmus years out, years later because of this shifting of the African uh, plate northwards and this land mass which is a small land mass would be connecting Europe with Africa and this Mediterranean Sea would become an inland sea and the connections from Atlantic Ocean would be cut off. So that is how we understand the very fundamentals of this concept. Now coming on to our very first Example and that is the Strait or the Isthmus of Panama. Now, Isthmus of P Panama, as you can see here, if I zoom in, you would see here that North America and South America are connected by this Isthmus. Isthmus is usually a fracture that is seen, and this is a connection between the North American continent and the South American continent here. The next is that we would be moving towards is the Isthmus of Corinth. Now, Isthmus of Corinth lies in the region of Greece as you could see and this connects the Peloponnese with the Greece mainland and if I zoom in again you would see the island region here this is the Greece the main region of Greece as you could see so this is the Greece and connecting it with the Peloponnese island you have this small land strait and uh, the land parcel sorry not the strait land parcel which is known as isthmus and this is the isthmus of corinth that is there so isthmus of corinth again important the next isthmus that we would be moving forward is you have the isthmus of kra and this isthmus of kra lies in the region of malaysia so as you can see in the map closer to the indian mainland you have malaysia and here you have the rongong province which is separated from the Shadong province and this is where you have the isthmus of Kara that is seen. So again very very important lying in the Mal Malaysian peninsula region the Malay peninsula what we call it as okay. So that is if I zoom in again you can see here you have the isthmus of Kra that is seen between the two land parcels okay so the exact location is a little diverted so this is the exact location that would be there. The next is Again important is the Isthmus of Swiss. Now Isthmus of Swiss is a connection which connects the European land, uh, the uh, Arabian landmass with the African landmass and you have the two water bodies that are separated here which are the Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. So you have the separation of the two water bodies which is the Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. So you have the Mediterranean Sea on the top as you could see and you have the uh, the Gulf of Swiss which is there and you have the separation between the two and this is what is the the isthmus of Swiss and again important historically because what used to happen was an interesting trade relation so if I zoom in uh, zoom out you would see here this is the in Indian mainland so let me draw just this is Europe Okay, this is the Europe mainland and this is India. Before the discovery of Swiss Canal, all trade used to take place across African continent reaching to India. However, with the discovery of Swiss Canal, you have this route that shortened out and from the Mediterranean Sea 
to the arabian uh, sea and finally to india so this was a kind of shorter route that was discovered and hence is important the next and the last important thing that we would be talking today is the last isthmus that's lying in the region of uh, russia which is the karlin uh, isthmus now karlin isthmus lies in the region of russia and the area of finland between the two uh, you would see this region so when i zoom in uh, you can see this region between the russia and the finland area so between the finland and russia you have the karlin isthmus that is there so these are some of the most popular isthmus across the globe so just a quick recap of the isthmus you have five isthmus that are seen that we have discussed today the isthmus of panama the isthmus of corinth isthmus of kra which is at the malaysian peninsula swiss uh, the swiss canal where you have the isthmus of swiss which separates basically the arabian peninsula and the african landmass and then you have karlin isthmus which separates russia with finland so those are some of the major isthmus that we have discussed today we would be covering straits and major straits of the world in a separate lecture so stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead